Remember the beginning? Straight from the factory right to the junk heap. What's William Wyler tell you at the end? This isn't junk. This is what you build a civilization on. So all these men who fought in the war and come back broken just because they're a broken hulk of a B-17 doesn't make them junk. OK, so why is this movie? Like, I think this is the most courageous movie ever made. So this is my other superlative of the film. Why? Because most movies are about the period that they're made. Like, I'm a big fan of science fiction movies. And I love them because what science fiction does is, is like the little mosquito in the Jurassic Park movie, it, it gets captured in amber, and then it holds a little DNA so that you can make dinosaurs later on, that kind of thing. Movies do that. They capture a moment in time, what people were thinking, what Hollywood was thinking about the world, right? And sci-fi does that better than anything. But what's brilliant about this movie is the period in which it's made is the period that it's about. Like, Weiler is making this about the end of the war at the end of the war. So it's, like, this is one of these points why it's not useful to talk about how historically accurate it is, because it's a genius discussion of the issues at the time they're made. And these are issues that in most cases we don't really discuss as a society other than in a film like this for decades. Okay? There's a reason why so many uh, World War II vets self-medicated. Okay? Like I already said, every main character is broken. And one of the things that's fascinating is we only run into, in the whole movie, two other service members. Okay? One is a guy that Al will help at the bank. Uh, he was a CB, and Al's like, oh, I'm going to give him a loan even though he doesn't have collateral. And Al kind of gets in trouble for it. But Al does it anyway. He sticks to his guns. Right? And that's the big emotional moment for Al in helping, like, this is what I'm going to do with my life to help build this country and help these men who fought. That's what he's going to do. The other guy is some sleazy dude who's hitting on Fred's wife, right? And so we kind of get like, so we get both sides of the honorable dude and then the kind of, okay, questionable cat uh, here. But those, everybody else did not serve in the war. The other soda jerks, they stayed back. The other guys, they worked in factories because that was true about America. As many people as we put in the military, we put four or five times more in factories. Most of America served the war effort by building things, not by fighting. And the, war, and the movie does address that. 